This video explains how to insert rows for missing dates in a data frame using the R programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the R code. In this video, I will show you an example, and this example is based on the data frame that we can create with lines two to six of the code. So if you run these lines of code, you can see at the top right of R Studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our data frame. And as you can see, our data frame contains four rows and two columns, whereby the first column contains dates ranging from the 1st of October 2022 to the 7th of October 2022. However, you can also see that some of the dates in between are missing. So for instance, the 2nd of October 2022 is not shown in our data set. So let's assume that we want to insert new rows with missing values in between. Then we can apply the code that you can see in lines 8 to 11. So first, we need to install and load the pet R package, as you can see in lines 8 and 9. I have installed this package already, so for that reason I'm just going to load it with line 9 of the code. So after running this line of code, we are able to use the functions of the pet R package, such as pet, as you can see in line 11 of the code. And we need to apply this function to our data frame. So in this case, our data frame is called data. And then we are storing the output of this in a new data frame, which we call data new. So if you run line 11 of the code, you can see at the top right of our studio that a new data frame object is appearing, which is called data new. And if you click on this data frame, you can see that a new window is opened, which is showing the structure of our new data frame. And as you can see, we have inserted a new row for each missing date in our input data frame. So for instance, the 2nd of October 2022 has been added. And in the values column, we have inserted an, an A value at each position where the date was missing. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching, see you in the next video.